How's it going, people? Or welcome back. As you can see, lots of fun stuff. I got, you know, Sam. I got, um, he has risen. That's where they put a nail through his hand. Pretty. And, uh, these have been just laying all over the place. Haven't read any of these yet. Um, this one looks fun. I'll, I'll read a little later. It's got a, it's a little wordy. And lots of these. These are just floating in the wind. They're like little, I don't know, it looks like to, they're to a calendar. I don't know. They're just, they got like, looks like Korean, Korean writing maybe in the back. And you know, they got you know titles like uh, "Holy with and like him," um, "Holy love," "Potluck," "Holy and privileged." All these are going to be fun. I'll get to them. A living child of God. This is all litter I've been picking up. Holiness and deception. They kind of seem to go hand in hand sometimes. Hope-filled children of God. See, they got little dates up in the top corner, so I was wondering if they're doing some kind of a calendar book or something, but... The right spice. It all sounds just so fascinating. But I'm just going to read this little guy here. Healing Prayer at Bedtime. It's from uh, these fine folks. On the ground. I'm recycling. Healing prayer at bedtime. Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, go back into my memory as I sleep. Every hurt that has ever been done to me, heal that hurt. This sounds like some kind of a self-hypnosis thing. Uh, every hurt that I have ever caused to another person heal that hurt for them or for you all the relationships that have been damaged in my whole life that I am not aware of heal those relationships but Lord if there is anything that I need to do, if I need to go to a person because he is still suffering from my hand, bring to my awareness that person. So if you don't hear anything, if God doesn't get back to you, then it's okay. <laughs> no further action required. I choose to forgive and ask to be forgiven. Remove whatever bitterness may be in my heart, Lord, and fill the empty spaces with your love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And then down below, this little instruction in italics. When you pray this prayer, ask the Lord to gently and gradually Remove any layers of emotional scar tissue while you sleep. And that's copyrighted by Phyllis Deverox in 1984. It's still hanging around. Isn't that interesting how they mentally masturbate and uh, remove their guilt? Hey, I confess to my imaginary friend and he didn't say anything, so he's tacitly agreeing with me that I'm all right. Yeah, 
His silence is deafening. Anyway, more to come. And I'll probably find more. So, I'll share them with you. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, and watch out for that emotional scar tissue.